Hello friends, welcome back to the ratio analysis lecture series. Let us now take up another important ratio, gross profit ratio. This ratio is a measure of profitability and according to Weston and Brigham, profitability is an outcome of profit and profit means return, reward, income, earnings or margin. To the financial analysis, it is the measure of efficiency. To the firm or management, it is the measure of the performance. To the investors, it is the measure of the reward of their investment. To the creditors, it is the source of interest payment. To the government, it is a source of earning through tax. In short, it is the driving force of every business. And profitability is the capacity of a firm to earn profit. It shows the degree to which profit is earned. It is a measure of overall efficiency and effectiveness of management. There are generally three types of profitability ratios. Operating ratios expressed in terms of sales, return on investment ratios expressed in terms of investments and market test ratios expressed in terms of equity shares. Now talking about operating ratios, these ratios are formed on the principle that a firm must earn adequate profit on each rupee of sales. These ratios are calculated based on the information available in the income statement. Therefore, these ratios are also known as income statement ratios. These ratios consist of profit margin and expense ratios and these ratios are calculated as a percentage of sales. That means in calculation of these ratios, the denominator is always sales. There are three types of profit margin ratios, gross profit ratio, operating profit ratio and net profit ratio and expense ratios consist of operating ratio and sub expense ratios. Today we are going to focus on gross profit ratio. Gross profit is an excess of sales over cost of goods sold. That means it is calculated by deducting cost of goods sold from sales. Ratio is calculated by dividing gross profit by sales into 100. It is usually expressed in percentage. Let us now see the application of this formula. Here I have taken abstract of income statements of JK Cement Limited and Ultratech Cement Limited at the year ended 31st March 2020. Rupees are in millions. So we have revenue, cost of goods sold and gross profit. Now, if we look at only values, gross profit of Ultratech cement is more than JK cement. Let us see the result after calculating gross profit ratio of both the companies. So, of JK cement limited, gross profit ratio is rupees 38,361 divided by 58,016 into 100, that is 66.12%. And of Ultratech cement limited, it is rupees 2,73,438 divided by rupees 4,21,248 into 100 that is 64.94 percent. In percentage it is showing exactly opposite result. Gross profit ratio of JK cement is greater than Ultratech cement. That means the capacity of JK cement limited to earn gross profit on sales is more than Ultratech cement. Let us understand the objective and interpretation of this ratio. The objective of this ratio is to measure the efficiency of production, purchasing, inventory and selling activities. This means ratio helps in measuring the effectiveness of production management, purchase management, inventory management and sales management. It also helps in measuring productivity of the firm and helps in knowing profit availability to beat other expenses. There is no standard set for this ratio. However, it must be adequate to cover its 
indirect and non operating expenses to decide whether firm's ratio is satisfactory or not it should be compared with its past ratios or with the ratios of other firms in the same industry or with industry norms generally higher ratio is considered as better higher ratio indicates that the firm is managing its purchases production inventory and sales with highest possible efficiency it displays that the firm's cost of goods sold is in control it may be because firm has purchased goods at low prices firm has taken advantage of economies of scale that is firm is saving cost with increased level of production firm has effectively controlled its other direct expenses and firm is efficiently managing its stock level higher ratio also suggests that firm is able to get higher selling price per unit due to more demand in the market it shows maximum productivity indicating firm's ability to produce more from the available input by keeping control on cost it displays high profit availability to meet other expenses but if ratio is very high it may also be result of window dressing whereas if firm's ratio is low it indicates inefficiency of the firm in handling purchases production inventory and sales activities it displays that the firm's cost of goods sold is high indicating poor control on the direct costs maybe because firm has purchased goods at higher prices firm is not taking advantage of economies of scale as firm's level of production is low or firm's inventory management is poor low ratio also indicates that firm may not be able to increase sale of its product in the market due to less demand it also shows that due to heavy competition or less demand or low quality product the firm is selling its product at low price low ratio is a sign of low productivity it means the firm is producing less from the available input by incurring additional costs and it also shows less profit availability to meet other expenses now to improve this ratio firm has to apply any of the following measures if a firm is not able to control its cost of goods sold then the firm has to increase selling price keeping cost of goods sold constant and if due to competition in the market firm is not able to increase selling price then firm has to reduce cost of goods sold by proper study without compromising with quality of product and if possible the firm can slightly increase the selling price and decrease the cost of goods sold let us see what effect few transactions will have on existing gross profit with one question so question is state whether the gross profit ratio will increase or decrease or remain the same in each of the following cases if gross profit of a firm is 25% increase in wages now wages are part of cost of goods sold therefore with increase in wages cost of goods sold will increase resulting into decrease in gross profit okay so next transaction is sale of rupees 25000 made now here sales will increase but at the same time closing stock will get reduced by same percentage let us see how with one example so here in this example in this trading account sales are rupees 1 lakh closing stock rupees 35000 and gross profit is 25000 that means gross profit ratio is 25000 divided by 1 lakh in 200 that is 25% and cost is 100 minus 25 that is 
Now our transaction is sales increased by twenty five thousand. That means closing stock will decrease by twenty five thousand into seventy five percent. That is by rupees eighteen thousand seven fifty. Therefore, new sales will be rupees one lakh twenty five thousand, and closing stock will be thirty five thousand minus eighteen thousand seven fifty. That is rupees sixteen thousand two fifty. And gross profit will increase by rupees twenty five thousand minus eighteen thousand seven fifty. That is by rupees six thousand two fifty. And therefore, new gross profit will be rupees thirty one thousand two fifty. So new gross profit ratio will be rupees thirty one thousand two fifty divided by rupees one lakh twenty five thousand into hundred. That is twenty five percent. so we can see that there is no change in the existing gross profit ratio so there won't be any change now next transaction is office salary paid office salary is an indirect expense it is not part of cost of goods sold therefore there won't be any change in gross profit ratio next is purchase of goods rupees 30000 now here the amount of purchases and amount of closing stock will increase by rupees 30000 therefore there won't be any change in cost of goods sold and therefore gross profit will remain same next transaction is goods are sold at increased selling price now here because of increase in selling price sales value will increase and therefore gross profit will also increase okay friends gross profit ratio is done see you soon with a new profitability ratio till then take care and keep smiling thank you